attraction marketing is all about posting things and getting people attracted to you right so on social hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about attraction marketing what is attraction marketing how can you use it on Facebook we're going to get into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so attraction marketing you'll notice right behind me there's plastic that's because we're doing construction or renovation I guess and we just got plastic there and I had to move from my normal office but today we're going to talk about attraction marketing and how to use it on Facebook before I get to that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to check out the video at cis467.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and talk to you more about this so let's go right to it let's talk about attraction marketing all right so attraction marketing is all about posting things and getting people attracted to you right so on social media on Facebook when you look at pictures of people and you look at pictures of what they're about that kind of might attract you to them right so that's I don't know what's going on with my computer okay yeah so I mean when I'm going through the news feed right I'll see things that I like because those are things you know that I'm attracted to right I'm attracted to certain things now the other thing too is that Facebook will <coughs> keep track of what you like what what you pause on right what you uh, comment on so it'll know that if you're commenting on stuff that's probably because you like it so Facebook will show you more of that right and now Facebook and I guess that's kind of what's important to understand is that what is it that you have to be focusing on when you're trying to attract people to you right leaders will tell you all kinds of things let's go to this little document here I mean you know attraction marketing is, a, is attracting people to you so you don't have to reach out to them that's really all it is but how do you do that right how do you attract people to you um on Facebook I and mean, you know you can be posting things there's all sorts of different leaders that teach different things but what I'm going to tell you is the base the basics of it right so you're going to be posting post regularly whoops post regularly you've got to um let people know who you are who you are and what you are about right so now if let's say if let's say you were just doing that right that kind of kind of what I started a couple, you know many years back uh it'll be 10 years soon but when I started online I just you know was like okay I'm just gonna post all the time I'm gonna post all the time and I'm gonna post what I'm about I'm gonna post about you know my family I'm gonna post about my job I'm gonna post about my house what I, what's going on in my life the kinds of things I like and that's gonna attract people to me right and the thing is that that is sort of true but not really because the problem is that you're not focused enough so you have to be more focused on what it is you're wanting to do for people so right so you got to figure out so figure out or decide what you are going to do to help them right you got to decide what you're going to do to help them right and when we talk about what you're going to do I don't mean like you know the actions I don't mean like you know I'm going to do some trainings I'm going to do some courses I'm going to do these workshops and have people come over and I'm going to you know help them with their pages and all that stuff that's not what I'm talking about I'm not talking about the actions that you will do I'm not talking about the things that you will do I'm talking about what is it that you're going to get for them what is it going to do for them what is it that you're going to do so when I talk about that what will it give them right what will it give them so if a 
okay so when you're doing attraction marketing you got to figure out a few things so you must know the following right so you must know the following but let's just uh let's go down like this okay so so you must know the following so number one and this is like I'm sure you've heard this all the time and I talk about it all the time you must know who your avatar is if you don't know your avatar then you're not going to be creating content for them you're going to be creating con random content for different kinds of people right sure it's going to be very similar it's going to be you know um if you're posting about yourself and that kind of stuff that's great and that's important because you need to be posting stuff so people actually know who you are right and what you're about and all that stuff so that's all very important but you need to know who your avatar is right so there and and you know there's 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 a couple things here there's their demographics and their um how can I put this what would be the word for that I mean specifics like because you know the thing is that demographics you know like uh age gender location education income family right I mean all those things are demographics they're all very just you know um kind of like general if you will right because you know an age is just you know because there's millions of people that could have that same age right there's millions of people that have that same gender millions of people that could live in that same location right so those are demographics they're important to know but they're not going to be they're not the the most important thing right so the most important thing is actually the uh the specifics so right specifics is things like eye color uh well let's just say eye and hair color let's say no jerry yeah okay hair color, right eye and hair color uh what else um we want to know um, their hobbies right we want to know their hobbies we want to know age of their children right we want to know school they well maybe the school they went to is not that's more of a demographic right so let's just say age and age and interests of their children like so for example your avatar you know you can have even have a like your avatar is basically your ideal customer right it's your ideal client so the one person you would love to work with right so it's one person that and this is the thing people are like they whenever I talk to uh other, other entrepreneurs they're like well I don't want to and me I, that's kind of what I was right I don't want to choose only one person what if I choose the wrong person what if that person isn't the one that ends up buying my stuff that's going to be the disaster I'm going to end up talking to this one person and they're not even going to be the ones that are going to buy from me right well the thing is that 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 doesn't matter and the reason it doesn't matter is because it's more important to focus your message on this one person than it is to try to sell to a bunch of people because if you try to sell to a bunch of people what will happen is you'll end up not selling to anybody right so it's very important to focus on one ideal client you know if you have a client that you love to work with and you've got 10 clients that you hate to work with you're not going to be happy working with those 10 clients even if you make more money right so it's more important to be happy and to be to be doing what you really like right that's the thing that's how that works right so that's why you need to know who your ideal client what their likes are what their family's like or what their uh, background is what do they like what's their interest you know do they, do they like sci-fi movies or do they like adventures or actions or 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 fantasy or romance right what kind of movies do they like what kind of tv shows do they like what what uh do they like to do when they're when they're off work right what are the activities they like to do because knowing all those things will allow you to create content that they're going to be interested in and that's one of the most important things you can do is create content 
your avatar is will resonate with right so that's those are the kind of the two most important things when you're trying to use, when you're trying to use attraction marketing on social media Facebook right so you're going to be creating con content that your avatar is going to be resonating with so you know you'll create content that they will be like oh that's I you know I like that they're going to take a minute to look at it they're going to maybe even comment on it maybe react to it and they're going to notice it that's the most important thing they will notice your content right if you are doing this right all right so number three I mean it's important to create content that they're going to be resonate with it's important to know who your avatar is it's important actually you know what let's put this at number three here because really number two is know your offer now when we talk about your offer we're not talking about what you're selling I'm not talking about you know it's it's a weight loss supplement I'm not talking about it's a a patch for health I'm not talking about it's a wrap I'm not talking about it's you know uh, a shake none of that matters none of that is important know your offer what will they get from it right what will they get from it and why right why they sh they will love it okay so what will they get from it is not they're going to lose weight it's not about what the result of the product is going to give them from a you know an, a first level perspective if you will it's more about what they'll get from it you know will they will they uh, make their friends gel uh, gel how do you spell jealous G -O -los, jealous I, I can never remember how to spell that word like that I don't know I don't know how to spell that word so if you're watching this and you want to tell me how to spell it go ahead it doesn't matter to me you know what the word is jealous right and the thing is that will it make their friends jealous will their ex whoops will their ex be uh be you know want, want them back right <laughs> what you know if they're losing weight they're losing weight to feel good or they're going to lose weight to 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 you know to sleep better they're losing weight to you know what are they doing to lose what is the reason that they would want to lose weight and then even then you've got to ask yourself the question again what so what so what so what that you lose 10 pounds so what that you're feeling better well because you want to have more energy for your kids because you want to have more energy for your for your work maybe right because you want to be able to keep up to your to your kids right so that's why you would lose weight. you got to ask yourself that question why because without that you're not going to be creating content that that is going to resonate with them and that's going to be kind of talking about the benefits of whatever their product or service or whatever you're selling is going to give them right not just you know it's not like say say it makes them they can make ten thousand dollars more a month because your product is some sort of wealth building product right ten thousand dollars worth a month is great but that's not the reason that's not what they uh how can I put it that's not what they're going to get out of it sure they'll get ten thousand a month maybe right but that's not why they would want it it's because it's going to give them freedom maybe they're going to be able to take that vacation they've always wanted maybe they're going to be able to get that car maybe they're going to get their neighbor jealous at them for having a great new car or whatever right whatever is like what's the feeling that they're going to get from whatever you have to offer them right so what's their what's the feeling what's the feeling they will get from from your product service right so what's the feeling the feeling is the most important thing all right so then you create content your avatar will reson resonate with then number four now when we talk about attraction marketing right we're talking about people coming to you now why does that well before we get into why that works let's talk about okay the next thing that's super important must know the following must know and do the following okay so number four is going to be you must whoops 
you must include you in the posts as often as possible now some of the some of the leaders I know right they post their picture all the time that's all they do with a few little words now, let me just actually go look for that because one of the ones that I know is Diane Hawkman right she is an amazing real um, marketer and whenever if you look at her posts if I go to her page you see that almost all the posts that she's got include her face right so over here face over here face right well, this is an avatar there's her here right so she's posting a lot with her face that's her there her there and if I go to say well actually let's go to Instagram because she does that more there Instagram and then if I go to Diane Hockman on here oops mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna have to put a code here hold on let me just do that because I haven't logged into Instagram for a long time on my what does he want oh my authenticator app sorry about that hold on hold on we'll get there uh where's it say there it is feedback required what's that Hmm. well I don't know how why well, I'm not able to get on here maybe I don't need to log in let's go to Diane hmm. without logging in no it's not I gotta log in this is weird I I mean well yeah it's a security thing okay it's working all right good sorry about that so if I go to Diane Hockman right here right if I go to her page like I was saying post about yourself post include your pictures and post that and that now I'm not saying you should do it as much as as Diane does right as you can see right here it's all all you can see pretty much is her face right <coughs> oops locked right she posts her face even funny faces and that kind of stuff right all the time and so um yeah so as you can see it's all about her face so now well, the reason why that's important is because when you look at your when you when people see your post and they see your face they're going to end up recognizing you they're eventually going to recognize you they're actually going to know who you are and then whenever they see you they're going to know what you're about because they've been seeing some of your posts right so do this do this often maybe 50 to 75 percent of the time because people will start to notice you and what you're about and all that now what's the next thing that's important attraction marketing is about getting people to see you so how do they see you you're posting on Facebook that's you know five years ago that was a great way to do it and it sort of still works but not as much now because today it's more about um because people will not come to you on their own they're not going to go visit your page now most people will not go see your page and they're not going to see your post unless they're already really a big fan of yours and they're liking your stuff and everything so how do you get people to start to see your stuff so that you can attract them to you now you can be posting stuff and hopefully your stuff is going to end up in their feed and they're going to start to notice it but what's the next way to get them to actually see your stuff without you having to you know um let's just do that so number five is take control 
of the notification process in Facebook right what does that mean to take control of that so you will go to Facebook and you're going to go you know say for example they talk about one of the things that's important is to find people that are actually in groups that the that your uh what's what's the word um you want to have you want to find your ideal like if I go back to here right your ideal so you want to find your ideal avatar you want to find them where they hang out right and on Facebook that's in groups so you're going to go in the groups right you're going to go into groups and you're going to search for groups that your you know avatar would be interested in if they're into gardening if they're into uh, child rearing if they're into teenagers you know whatever it is you're going to search for those groups you're going to say uh tips for pair uh, teenage oops teenager uh parents let's say I don't know I don't know teenager parenting parents and teenagers support group parenting teenager support group right? so let's say for example you're looking for people who have teenagers well they're going to be in these groups right I can join these groups and I can go find the people that are in those groups that have children that have teenagers right they're looking for support for teenagers right so they if you're looking for somebody who's got teenagers then that would be one way to do it now the other thing is if you're looking for building online business right somebody who's building an online business well let's go look through here right let's look at these groups where people that are building an online business will be in so if you're looking for if that's your avatar somebody who's building an online business then you search for those groups and you go and you know go into there so if I'm going to go into this group uh, that I'm part of once you're in the once you're in the group right um I mean these people are posting all sorts of things right they're just it's just a, a spam group but that's okay because you can still look at this you can see 10 2 right here uh I guess it's just this is just I guess that's the only one that's posting in this group it must be his group or his or her group so this is not a good example of a group I actually posted a few things in here and I had a few approved but then there's some that aren't but let's look at this okay here's another one there's another person right here Elizabeth Williams so Elizabeth Williams posted uh this here so I can go to her page and Elizabeth Williams is somebody who's who's posting in these online groups that have to do with making money building a business so she would be in my target market of online entrepreneurs right so then I can go to her page and I can go here under view main profile and I can see her page so I'll, I'll actually come in here and I'll react to some of these now why do I do that I'm going to her page to her profile and I'm engaging on her posts right so the reason why I do that is because the, these posts will not show up in my news feed so I'm never going to find it unless I go straight to her now the thing is that I'm going to want to take her profile link right here right that link that's right there right I'm going to want to save that so I go back to it every few days to kind of engage on her stuff and what happens there is that she's going to see me in my in her notification when she clicks on her notifications she's going to see my face and my name right there which is what you want them to see the you want them to see your face in their notifications right that's kind of how it starts they're going to see your name and they're going to see your face in their notification they're going to maybe then they're maybe like see when I look at this I see Shauna Zini here I see uh Legacy Window Bird right here Donna Burnett so I might click on there and I'd be like who is this Donna Burnett and then I'll go up here click on her profile and go see what she's about and go you know comment on her stuff or whatever but the thing is that me it's because I comment on her stuff so she's actually reacting to one of my to one of my comments right so she's I posted this and she said this and I'm just going to react to this like this and she saw my comment here and then she replied to my comment now she can see my face right there so you're going to be able to see that all the people that you're commenting on you're engaging on their posts are going to see your note they're going to see a notification so they're going to see you and they're going to see your name and your face right there right 
that's so that's why it's important to have a profile to have a cover photo to have a bio to have pictures all that stuff is super important those are parts of attraction marketing is you have to have a profile did I say that in here because that's one of the most important things right know your offer create a content um take control of notifications actually what we really want to do in here is we actually want to so know who your avatar is know your offer know know your avatar let's just say know your avatar right that'll be more know your avatar know your offer and then we want to have number three we want to have set up set up profile for profit right so that means profile picture of of you whoops of you right then you want to have a, a cover photo photo about about your well cover photo that shows what you what you are about right and then we want to have a bio that explains how you can help them and like you know kind of like that right so then number four is going to be create content number five is going to be include and number six to take control all right so once you know your avatar once you know your offer and once you set up your profile then it's all about creating content that your avatar is going to resonate with you must include you in the post 50 70 plus which I don't do as much as I should but that's super important to do and then you want to take control of the notification process in Facebook that's the most important thing today anyways is is taking control of the notification process because that's the only place where you have control of what Facebook is going to show to people right it's sure if you like you know if I engage on 20 posts in a day it doesn't mean that every single thing I do is going to show in their notifications but there's chances of it showing up more if you do that but if you don't if you just engage on the news feed right if you just engage on the news feeds then that's going to limit what you can do right that's going to limit how people will notice you right and you want people to notice you right you want people to notice you you want them to see you so the more often they see you either in your posts or even better in your in their notifications you want if if you want them to see you in their notifications you've got to be engaging on their posts and like I said the best way to find that is using groups of course I have active group users software that will give you the list of the people that are active in groups that's even better than doing it yourself because you know it'll take you a long time to go through groups and go through the posts and go through the find the people and go to their profile and see if they're active or not all that kind of stuff so active group users will definitely help you a lot you can look at all sorts of other posts I have about that but really that's the secret attraction marketing is all about knowing your avatar knowing your offer setting up your profile for profit creating content you have to always resonate with and then include you in the post as often as possible and then take control of notifications that's the real how to get attraction marketing how to use it on Facebook right that's really what it's all about all right until next time this is uh, a wrap this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.